Nature can be incredibly breathtaking to witness, especially if you know just when and where to look. One of the most beautiful events on the planet are red sprites, but they're also the hardest to find. The big reason as to why red sprites are so elusive is because they're so fast. Just how fast is a red sprite? Some estimates have red sprites as traveling at one-tenth the speed of light, ending up with massive columns of plasma from excited atoms in the upper atmosphere, tracing out these huge and intricate structures with very little understood physics relating to the lightning and the cloud below. It's almost like imagining a million headlights from cars traveling on a thousand miles of highway in the sky, light painting out these lines over about 40 miles in a fraction of a second. It can be so fast that even on video, they only last for a frame or two. And in longer exposure photography, you can catch several sprites in one frame. And these are great ways to see the amazing structures and how beautiful and intricate the sprites are but give us little insight into how the different structures are formed and how the sprite progression occurs. In order to visualize these things, we need to have high-speed video. That's what I set out to get, and the results really helped me to understand sprite formation. To me, they were nothing short of spectacular. When I got around to reviewing the footage, I was simply blown away and so many questions came to mind. I had read all about these processes but never seen it. I just really want to know what's going on. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below.